My name is Deborah Davis and I'm the Assistant Manager on MP1. MP1 has been the designated COVID floor at Milford Regional for well over a year now. When COVID emerged, I was fairly new in my leadership role, never working through a pandemic before. It was very overwhelming. It took us a while to get a grasp on COVID. At first, nobody really knew what it was or how to treat it. Walking in every day was a guessing game. None of us really knew what was going to change next. Once we got into a good groove, the guidelines would change and so did our practices. Luckily, there were days that we did have assistance from other floors to help alleviate the heavy burden on the staff in the unit. What I have seen on the unit for the past year is nothing short of astonishing. I am lucky enough to have worked alongside the most incredible staff. I have seen them work beyond what would be considered normal. Staff took extra time to FaceTime families, remove their gloves to hold the hand of a dying patient, performed last rites, and cried as their patients passed. Even though they were exhausted physically and emotionally, they kept caring for the patients, and most importantly, they kept caring for each other. As tears would roll down their face, I asked them how I could help, and it was always the same answer. There is nothing that you could do. I felt hopeless. Hi was supposed to be a leader, but Hi had no idea how to lead them through this new reality. As the year went on, morale seemed to dwindle, and we knew we were in it for the long haul. In the beginning, the signs, the parades, and donated meals seemed to help keep the staff spirits up. But as we got into the second surge, the smiles and laughter I was used to hearing from the staff were gone. I would lie in bed at night trying to think of a way to improve the culture of the unit, but I would come up with nothing. But what I was able to do was listen to the staff, remain positive, come to work every day, and work alongside them for the past year. Now that the year has passed, many things have changed, but what hasn't changed is the excellent care the MP1 staff continues to give each and every patient every day. I have seen the staff pick up extra shifts, even when they're burnt out to help alleviate the stress on the unit. We continue to have good days and bad days. Tears continue, but I'm happy to say that laughter and some smiling faces have returned. In the end, what I learned as a leader is, a great team can either make or break you. And in my opinion, I have the best team.